How you doing guys? Monsters 3D Creations, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year if you're watching this after 2021. So, it is actually the day after Christmas for me. And I actually got some little presents for Christmas. One of them was some of this TT, T, YT, 3D filament. This stuff actually was bought on Amazon. My wife actually bought it for me as a Christmas present. She thought rainbow filament, silk rainbow filament, you know? So I was like, hey, I've bought that before. I've tried it before. If you guys are curious, if you remember the making the Loki mask that I video I did a couple weeks ago, this is printed in with this material. So I actually did buy this on Amazon a couple months ago, uh, I think for $28. And I think my wife says she paid twenty nine dollars on Amazon, so quality probably got better. They they went up a the price went up a dollar, so that's pretty cool. But it definitely does print really cool. This was obviously used for Halloween, so my daughter can keep it on. But the quality of this this filament here is it's pretty awesome. You know the mask is pretty strong. Obviously, take a little bit of a beating. If I were to pull it apart, probably could break it, but my daughter would probably be a little mad if I did that. So, we're not going to do that in this video. But, I mean, overall, it printed really good. So, if you guys want to see, you know, the how this guy got printed out, I'll link the video right over here. So, put that away. So, TTY 3D. This guy is sold on Amazon. This is a Rainbow Shine Multicolor Filament. It has a recommended printing temperature. Now, here's where it gets funny. On the actual spool, it has a recommended temperature of 215 to 235C. The box, though, tells you 205 to 35C. So, generally, this might be a little bit closer. The boxes, you know... They might, you know, been making them, sitting around for a while. These stickers are put on when the spool is. So, generally you want to go off of the sticker on the spool itself, if they have one. So, 215 to 235. I generally like to stick to about 210, 215. So, we'll probably end up doing this, you know, first print in that. And, uh, yeah, I've tried out this filament with this guy, obviously. So, I can definitely say it's a pretty good little filament. It's not too cheap at $30 per you know one one case spool but it's still you know actually one of the cheaper ones compared to some of the other ones but that's the difference is the quality on this $30 spool compared to say you know like a profi box that would have some way nicer spools in there I'm sure you know um, this is actually a pretty pretty awesome little go-to you know so if you're in a pinch and you need you know some rainbow color spool uh, filament you want to try out something you know new some rainbow or something go on amazon they're actually pretty cool at 30 bucks and it prints really well it has no issues with the printer my uh, ender 3 pro hasn't had any problems with it you know while i was printing it besides that you know it's not bad if you want to go a little bit cheaper, I'm sure Micro Center, if you have a Micro Center in your area, does have some um, inland PLA like uh, this guy right back here. This one, inland PLA from Micro Center. Let's see if you can, uh, you guys can see it. Hopefully it'll focus in. $18.99. So I think it's like $21 bucks after taxes and all that good stuff from Micro Center. This is natural so this is clear I haven't used it yet looking for a project to try it on so if you guys have any recommendations go ahead and shoot them down in the comments below if you want to see me use this natural clear PLA I have no idea what to use it for I literally saw the price and I was like oh that's cool and then I saw the price of everything else on that rack which is pretty much the same price also inland PLA from micro centers you know about 20 bucks if you want to go a little bit cheaper if you want to spend a little bit more Obviously, they have some of those, you know, more expensive ones at Micro Center as well. Or if you want to go on Amazon and just, you know, ham out crazy on colors, Amazon's got you covered. So, check it out. I'll put a link in the description below on 
how to grab yourself one of these they'll actually be putting in the same ones that I bought so what I buy you guys will get so you guys will be in the same quality as I do and if you guys have any issues and I have issues then we'll all gang up together and we'll go after them and let them know hey what the heck I can't print a solid freaking Mr. Puff because your filament's not working that's what we need to know guys so that's what we're here to do so let's go ahead and print this Mr. Beast logo. So here's a little bit of a thing I'm going to be starting off as a new series. I'm going to be printing out 3D logos for all the big YouTubers. This one is Mr. Joe Telling, the 3D printing nerd. I'm sure some of you guys have seen this one in some of my previous videos. This thing's pretty awesome. So this is the first one in the series that I'm going to be putting, you know, putting together. The second one's going to be a Mr. Beast logo. It's going to be not a figurine, but it's going to be a more of a wall decor that I'm going to start putting up on this back um, IKEA truster thing. <laughs> so hopefully you guys enjoy the video. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and start printing out this Mr. Beast logo. See what this PLA looks like in more of a flat, you know, surface because obviously this is not flat. This has a lot of curvatures, a lot of geometry, and this thing is wicked cool. So if you've seen the movie The Mask with Jim Carrey, that's what it is. I just did it in rainbow filament because that's what my daughter wanted for Halloween. So, cool. So enjoy the uh, print, guys. We'll figure out, you know, afterwards, we'll check out the print and we'll see, is this filament really any good? And will it break? That's what I never said in the video. Oh, getting away from me. It's, getting, it's going towards you guys. It's scared. Oh, man. It rolls pretty good, though. That's, that's a fine roll. So you know it might be... Oh. It just wants to go home with you guys. Well, I guess we're going to have to do that then instead. So let me know in the comments below if you guys want to try some of this out yourself. Hey, I'll choose somebody at random in the comments. That's the end of the video. Let me know below if you want it. And, of course, if I choose you, you're lucky, right? Ah, I'm just kidding. Let's go ahead and print this Mr. Beast. We need it. We need to print something. You guys want to see it get printed. But we're still giving it away. It's a Mr. Beast video. Why wouldn't we give away filament, right? So, let's print this out, and if you guys want the filament, let me know in the comments below. I'll choose somebody at random in uh, maybe about, we'll say, January 5th. I'll choose somebody at random in the comments below, and if I choose you, hey, I'll hit you up in a comment and let you know, hey, I'll let you know in the comment below, hey, send me a message on, you know, social media or something, and I'll get it out to you. So, enjoy the video, guys, and stay safe, stay healthy and of course stay printing keep those post printing keep those keep these things spinning guys that's what it's all about so enjoy the video guys hope you like it and mr beast if you're watching you're the man and of course i can survive any challenge longer than chandler 